Hello guys, I am back with the new lecture series on Django REST framework. In this series, we will be learning the basics of writing APIs with very little code. By the end of this series, you will get an idea of how actually APIs work and write the APIs in the easiest possible way. So what is Django? Django is a high level Python web framework that encourages rapid development with clean design. We can create a complete full stack website using Django. But nowadays, a lot of front end libraries like React, AngularJS are used extensively for user interfaces. So we are mostly gonna use the Django only for backend of the application where we write APIs for showing dynamic data at the front end. The term front end refers to the user interface while back end refers the server, application and database that works behind the scenes to deliver information to the user. Django makes it easier to build better web apps more quickly and with very less code. Django can be better used for large and scalable web applications. Some of the websites that are built on Django are Instagram, Spotify, Pinterest, Bitbucket and Mozilla and many more. Django follows MVT architecture, which means model view template. Model stands for the database tables. Views are used to execute the business logic and interact with a model to carry data and finally renders a template. Here template means a HTML page. T stands for template. Template is a presentation layer which handles user interface part completely. Template is nothing but as I already said a HTML file in this case. So by looking at the picture we can understand that a user requests for a resource to the Django. Django works as a controller and check to the available resource in the URLs. If the URL matches a view is called that interact with model and template view is nothing but a business logic function which communicates with database and process the data then django responds back to the user and sends a template which is a html file as a response this is a short description of how actually django handles the requests and responses in this series of lectures we are gonna mostly focus on the rest apis we won't be focusing much on creating the front end part in django and the softwares needed to get started for these lectures are PyCharm and Postman. You can download it from Google directly. PyCharm is an IDE which means Integrated Development Environment which is used for the development of the code. And Postman is an API client that makes it easy for developers to test APIs. I will be explaining what is an API and REST API in the next video. If you have any doubts regarding any topic, please feel free to comment. I will be sharing the Instagram ID in the description. Please follow on Insta to get the best tips on Python, Django and web development. If this video is helpful to you, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.